I am surrounded by goodies today. Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. 18 stocking stuffers you can find at the Dollar Tree. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel, friends. I am so glad that you are here today. Thank you to everyone who supports me in my comments in such a positive and encouraging way. I truly appreciate it. Today, I am going to share with you 18 stocking stuffers that I found at the Dollar Tree. Each one is $1.25, so this is a very inexpensive way to give a gift or to stuff those stockings. Now, I know not everyone has a Dollar Tree, but what I share might spark ideas of things to be on the lookout for in the stores that you do have in your area. So I'm going to flip to my overhead camera to give you a closer look at these 18 wonderful $1.25 stocking stuffers. Now I am calling these stocking stuffers because these are the types of things I would drop into a stocking or if I was doing a Secret Santa swap, I would probably put some of these things in my Secret Santa swap or just as a little pick-me-up for someone who might need a smile that day. So in no particular order, I'm going to share with you items that I would use as stocking stuffers or small gifts. Most of us have a mobile phone. So I'm going to share with you some things that'll help you hold that phone as well as place that phone. So first up is this little phone loop and basically what it is, you can see it from the side, but it has adhesive on the back and you put it on your phone. Now I'm not going to apply this to my phone, but I am going to open one that I bought so that you can see how this would work. So your finger would go in here. You would attach it to the back of the phone and that way you can have your finger in holding the phone. I see a lot of younger people with these type things. So this would be a nice little stocking stuffer for them. So you just peel off that adhesive, snap it to the back of the phone and you're good to go. And then we have this phone holder. This one I'm not taking out of the case, but this one I have taken out of the case because I actually use it. But basically you just stretch it like this and you can take your phone and you can place your phone in so that it sits this way or you can take your phone and move this up a little bit and it'll sit at an angle this way. You can keep sliding it up and it'll keep changing the angle. So you can do that as well. Or you can take it. This is very flexible. And you can put it in this way. It is very, very flexible. So this would be very handy if you happen to be on an airplane or a train or you're just sitting at a desk and you want to watch your phone. Having one of these holders gives you a way to orient that phone so that you can very easily look at what it is you want to see. So this is definitely two thumbs up. And then I have one more thing for the phone. This is a phone grip stand. Again, you peel off the back and you can see how you place it on the back of the phone, but this time with it on the back of the phone, you're able to just rest it so that you have it elevated. And if you're looking down, you have that elevation. So we have three relatively small items for the phone, but I found this novelty item as I was checking out at the register and it's an LED phone stand and it looks like a box of fries, but it's battery operated. You turn on the light and you can see that the fries light up. Your phone can sit in this way to rest, or it can sit in this way to rest, completely up to you. But I thought that was so cute. And for me, stocking stuffers really are meant to be fun, lighthearted little gifts that you would give to someone. So we have this wonderful little fry case to hold the phone. They also had one, I think it was a spaceman and I can't remember what the other one was. But what fun ways to accessorize our phones. Great little stocking stuffers here. So I'm going to put this back in the box. And I picked up a few of these because I am going to use them as gifts. And for these, I picked up two of each because I will be using those as stocking stuffers. So let's go ahead and set these over here. 
And then I decided I wanted to go to Health and Beauty and get a few Health and Beauty stocking stuffers. Nothing really over the top. But I definitely wanted to include these because y'all, I actually do use these on my hands and they are called hand and nail gloves. What it is, you wear these gloves and they have this mixture inside the glove and it's like a cream and you leave it on for about 15 or 20 minutes. Then when you take it off, you can rub it in. And I just like the way that it makes my hands feel. It might not be doing anything at all to my hands, but I like the way that it makes my hands feel. So I would definitely give these as stocking stuffers and you get one pair in a pack. And I shared these novelty lip balms and lip glosses the other day, but I still think that they would make great stocking stuffers. So they come in a variety of flavors. I'm going to add that there. Then I picked up a pack of the vanilla scented bath bombs. You can actually give this as a whole pack or you can take these out of the pack and make a cute little box and create two stocking stuffers from one pack. And then I picked up the fragrance sachets. I think I've shared these with you guys before in a previous video, but I like the way they smell. And these are coconut and citrus. And what I like are some of the suggested uses. You can use these in the bathroom. You can use them in trash cans in your car, but place it under the seat. You can put it in your vacuum, put it in closets. You can even put these in gift baskets, but they have such a nice little smell to them. And you get two in this pack. So you have two stocking stuffers from one 125 purchase. And then of course, we're going to pay some attention to the feet. This is a nice little pedicure set. It has all of the files that you would need as well as the toe separator. So $1.25. So I added this to my stocking stuffer collection. Here's another item that I'm using. Y'all, these are tea tree cleansing nose strips. Now, I love tea tree oil. I use it all the time. Even when I get a mosquito bite, I'll place some tea tree oil on the bite and it stops the itch for me immediately. But whenever I have a breakout, I'll dab just a little bit of tea tree oil on it. On my nose especially, I get blackheads. And in this pack, you have three nose strips. I've used these and it really did open the pores on my nose. So you get three nose strips in here, $1.25. And y'all, for most of the items that I'm sharing with you here, with the exception of this, I have used all of these. So I'm not sharing anything with you that I personally would not use. I haven't tried this because I really don't like sour patches, but I know people who would. My sister turned me on to this. It's called a spa comb, but I use mine just to sort of massage my scalp. I like the way that it feels. Can be used on wet or dry hair with no snagging or tugging. Raises and separates hair after removing braids and rollers. Now, like I said, I use mine to just basically massage my scalp or give my scalp a nice little scratching. And then I have a shampoo brush that I got from the Dollar Tree. And basically it says apply shampoo and gently massage the scalp in small circular motions. Use the shampoo brush for a few minutes in each section of the scalp as desired. And I haven't tried it. I've not used one of these, but I can see where it would be helpful to even just massage my scalp. If I didn't want to use this, I could use something like this. So it says it helps to massage and exfoliate your scalp. And then there was one more thing that I forgot to show you for the phone. It's a phone pocket. So it has adhesive on the back. You peel that adhesive and you can put it on the back of your phone and you can keep a card or cash in there if you want. So I picked up a couple of these, but I'll let you guys in on a little secret. I also, when I saw these, thought of something else that we could use them for in our crafting. So phone pockets, $1.25. Then I have that USB mini vacuum cleaner that I shared with you in a previous video. I think that this would make a great stocking stuffer. So I love candles, so I found two candles at the Dollar Tree for $1.25 that I thought would be great as stocking stuffers. Now for this one, I would probably make a box for it because it's simply the jar, but you can see just how cute this is. It almost has a milky glass feel to it, and it has a really nice scent. And then I saw these in a variety of fragrances. This one is called Peach Sweet Tea. I actually purchased one that's called Lemon Gelato and I've been burning that one here in the studio and I love how it smells. But you have this cute little box, so I wouldn't need to make a box for it. 
and on the inside you have this jar with your candle in it and again it's a dollar 25 but the presentation of it is already very sweet this is called peach sweet tea and I wish you could smell it because it has such a beautiful beautiful fragrance it's three ounces and it has a very nice slow burn to it we have gone through almost everything except for the one item that I saved for last and what it is some of you probably have already seen this you might already be using it but it is a little mini LED humidifier it comes with the USB cable to plug it in and y'all I'm going to put one out and this one I have not filled so I'm going to place it back in the box slide all of this over I brought in my portable power bank because I want you guys to be able to see this so I'm going to press my button and hopefully you'll be able to see it coming out so if you can't see it coming out the top if you look at my picture in picture you should be able to see it coming from there so I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger slide this over and hopefully you'll see it coming out can you see that that is a nice little fine mist that is coming out so what I did instead of putting water in mine is I put pumpkin spice scent in it I bought this at the Dollar Tree as well it's just a watery liquid but it has such a beautiful pumpkin spice smell and that's what I smell when it's coming out so I put one of these in my bathroom at home and they had apple cinnamon so that's what I'm using at home and every time I go into the bathroom I have that nice smell of apple cinnamon hopefully you can see that it's coming out but this is so neat now it does have a USB plug on it so if you have a small portable power bank this is perfect or you can plug it into a wall outlet which is what I'm doing in my bathroom I just took this plugged it into one of my phone charger heads and I plugged it into the wall and that's how I'm giving it power or like I said my computer tower is right here I could plug it in that but the cord is not very long and then I don't know if you'll be able to see this but it changes colors so you have the LED lights on the inside and they are color changing lights so it'll go from pink to blue to green so I think that out of all of the stocking stuffers that I picked up this one is my personal favorite and I'm getting so much use from it and I love the fact that I was able to take a fragrance liquid and put it in and that is the smell that I smell coming out every time it sends up a mist so I am going to turn it off turn off my power bank go ahead and unplug it and if you guys are interested in this power bank I absolutely love it I've had this one for a while um, gosh I've had this now for probably four or five years and it's still holding a charge well I use it all the time it said that it would actually jump start my car I think that's why we got it a while back but uh, we didn't find that to work the way that they said but it holds a charge and I like the fact that I have a wall plug outlet right here on the side that I can also use whenever we lose power or something like that I'm able to take this and at least plug in my curling iron so that I can look halfway decent that day it also powers a lamp or your laptop just thought I'd let you know about this if you're interested it'll be linked in the description box so 18 really fun stocking stuff for ideas that you can find at Dollar Tree. Now not every Dollar Tree is going to have all 18 of these. I don't even think that I picked all of these up from one store. I picked them up from different stores that I happen to be visiting. But whenever you're going in the Dollar Tree, just look around and see what they have that you might like to give as a stocking stuffer. No Dollar Tree, no problem. Look around in the stores that you have and see what you would like to pick up inexpensively and use as a stocking stuffer. So I hope that this has inspired some ideas in you, and I hope that you've enjoyed this Dollar Tree stocking stuffer idea. If you have, please hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, y'all, this is one of the things that I like to do on the channel. I like to look for ideas that'll help you with gift giving, inexpensive gift giving. So if you're not a subscriber, I'd love to have you subscribe. 
hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you'll know when I upload a new video. As always, my friends, please be safe, be kind, and be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.